Hello everyone and welcome back to ExtremeRigs.net. This is Stren and today we are looking at a Dell monitor. This is the P2715Q which means it's a 27 inch monitor and it is of a 4K resolution. It is one of the first of the cheaper IPS displays to come out and that's great because until now all of the affordable 4K displays have been TN. TN is great for gaming but for anything else, it's pretty subpar. It has horrible viewing angles, and it has horrible colors. IPS fixes a lot of those things, but does introduce uh, slower response times on the pixels. So we're gonna go ahead and get this opened up. While I do that, I'm gonna tell you an interesting story about why you should use sunscreen. Because if you're not wearing sunscreen, for example, if you go to the beach and you forget your sunscreen, the recommended thing to do would be to go home and get your sunscreen because otherwise you end up looking like a tomato or a tomato if you're American. Either way, you end up looking like me and that's not recommended. So in here we have some cables. We have a USB cable. This monitor does have a USB 3 hub. It has four output ports and of course one input port because it's a hub. So there's a cable to hook that up. We also have a power cable, gonna need one of those. We have a DisplayPort cable because DisplayPort is awesome. And to run 60 hertz at 4K, you're either gonna need DisplayPort or HDMI 2. So let's see what else we can get out of here. This is the great thing about unboxing videos, you never know what you're going to get. This is a back panel cover for the uh, input ports, I think. We've also got some instructions here, a drive disk, and we're going to have to lay this down to get the actual monitor out. A stand that rotates so you can put the display in portrait if you want to. Very nice, simple, clean, silver look. Dell's displays have been getting better with their aesthetics. Once that's out, you can lift the panel itself out. You want to grab this around the edges of the bezel, being careful, more careful than I am not to damage the display itself. You can see this is still wrapped here. I'm just going to go ahead and attempt not to drop it. There we go. It's always at the bottom. And here we go. So you can see you have five buttons on this side. Well, you can't really see it, but I can see it. There's a power button on the bottom right, and then there's four small kind of horizontal line buttons, which will be for the on-screen display. The Dell logo itself is quite nice and small. And the bezel is reasonable. It's not a super slim bezel, but it is pretty equal all the way around. And it is smaller than, for example, the old 30-inch monitors, which I have and we'll be comparing this against. On the back here, we have in the center the mount for the stand. Obviously, you're gonna to need to mount it to something. Underneath here, we have all the input ports. We have a power input. You have an HDMI port. You have a display port in. You have a mini display port in. You have another display port, but this one is an output. That's for daisy chaining displays. Bear in mind, well, you can daisy chain two 4K monitors using this. The disadvantage is that there, there's a maximum bandwidth on that. So when you do that, you are gonna to drop to 30 frames per second, which is not good. You also have a audio out, and then you have your USB hub setup. So there's a USB input, and then 
three USB outputs. I did say four earlier, but it seems there are only three here. So I would trust my eyes over what I told you earlier. So that's it from me. Uh, stay tuned, we will be getting this set up and doing a review on it. As always, like the channel, uh, subscribe, like the video, and follow us on Twitter and Facebook and all that good stuff for the latest updates.